And I'm going to talk to you now about the new way to look at your sciatica that hopefully will flip some switches in your brain like it did mine when I first started to learn about what the body does when it has pain. Number one, what happens when your body has pain? It naturally compensates for itself. Let me show you something. If I had a badly sprained ankle, I would be walking around like this, correct? You've seen people walk like that? Why are their head, neck, and shoulders moving in such a herky-jerky fashion, even though there are problems down at their ankle? Let me explain why. Your body is genius. It's meant to heal itself. That's how it was created, to be able to heal and take care of itself. So this is what your body does. The ankle muscles around the ankle and the lower leg tighten up to try to help avoid any further damage of that ankle. That means those muscles are now out of commission for what they normally do. Plus you're having pain every time you step down, so you're hopping to the other side. So what your body does, it compensates for that pain and your body moves in such a way, it's gonna be hard to believe, but it's trying to function as best as possible with as minimal pain as possible. But you've got this pulling over here, this pulling over here, your body is out of its normal balance, right side versus left side, which adds physical tension and stress through your body. And guess what part of your body takes up all that extra physical tension and stress? The area that is protecting. So it's not able to release, relax, and allow healing to take place. So if you've got pain in your butt, your low back, your anywhere down your leg, guess what? Even though you may not be walking as badly as somebody who has a sprained ankle, your body is still compensating the same way. So what I have learned is if we calm down those imbalances in your body, all that extra tension and stress, guess what happens to the area that's doing this? Trying to protect the area of the problem. It can relax. And when it starts relaxing, you get better blood flow, you get better nerve conduction, your body can actually start healing. And that's what we want. Let me give you another example of what's going on in your body to help you think about sciatica a different way. If I had a gaping wound on my arm, would it be wise for me to dig on it, to stretch it out, to pull on it, massage it to try to calm down the muscle spasms in the area and get those knots out? Or would I wanna leave it alone and allow it to heal? I'm assuming you're thinking, yes, you want it to heal. So now my question to you is, what if you started thinking of your sciatica as a wound, wherever the pain that you feel is coming from? What if you left it alone didn't aggravate it, didn't dig on it, didn't do the things that you were told to do, which have not worked yet, because if they did, you wouldn't be here watching. So instead of stretching, digging on, poking on, prodding on that area that's painful, irritated, and sore, why not leave it alone? Find other parts of your body that you can be working on. All right, remember I told you about all the imbalances that happen because of the compensations? What if you started working on balancing out those imbalances to take the tension away so that you give your body or you put your body in an optimal position to heal? Think of this one more way. If I had a sore spot right here and I went to my doctor and told my doctor, yo, right here is killing me. What can I take? I mean, I would want the pill to calm it down like everybody else would. But the doctor goes, Dean, I've got a new treatment technique. I want you to pound your head 25 times right on that sore side, five times a day, come back in two weeks and tell me how you feel. Most of you, if you had any sense of care for me, would look and go, are you out of your mind? What's strange is you pound it 25 times and when you stop, guess what? It actually feels a little bit better until the compounding of that pounding adds up and then it just explodes 10 minutes later, 30 minutes later, and it's worse than it was. So what is the difference between me doing this to something sore than you stretching on, digging on, massaging, pulling, trying to strengthen the muscles that are aggravated that are causing your sciatica? There really is no difference. You're not 
allowing the area to heal. Remember, if you think of it as a wound, you're not going to dig on it, stretch it, poke on it, prod on it. You're not going to pound your head if it's sore. I hope this makes sense. So I want to introduce you to what I've been doing for the past 15 years and have about a 95 to 97% success rate with my clients who have dealt with sciatica anywhere from six weeks up to 63 years. All right, 63 years. And after two weeks of being on my program, this guy, um, I'm so sorry, I can't remember his name. He gave me a testimonial and he basically said that he was walking around his neighborhood for the first time in decades, pain-free, and he couldn't believe it. 63 years, he was 84 years old. He had been dealing with sciatica and back pain since he was in his early 20s. He said it's been about 63 years. I actually have him on video telling me the story. I was blown away. I injured my back back when I was about 20 years old. And it didn't bother my I ever sore, of course, but when you're young, it don't bother you much. But it has made it grow and kept bothering me more and more. And it got so, of course, that was 60 years ago. And it got so that I, I had pain going down my right leg. And just like everybody does. And I had traction. I think it was 26 sessions of traction. And that ended the pain going down my right leg. But it didn't end the pain. The pain from then on went right to my right hip joint. And that hip joint would just scream at me. It would be so sore. And you couldn't walk. You got, I mean, it got up in the morning. And this was on Wednesday morning. I did the exercises, could not believe it, the pain after just doing those first about five exercises that you have, the pain in my back was gone. I walked yesterday, I live in a subdivision, I walked around the loop of the subdivision. And look guys, in two weeks I wish I could tell you that I can do everything for you that I did for him. It happens, but it's usually a little bit longer of a process, but what I have found is typically we can get people 50% improved in the first three to five weeks. And at the end of my programs that I offer that are eight weeks long, we can actually get people 80 to 90% and they're well on their way to making their lives normal again. So the three-step approach that I use for every one of my clients, number one, we first want to balance out the imbalances in your body. Remember we talked about the compensations and the pulling and the stress. All that extra muscular physical tension and stress is keeping you from healing. And most of the time it's not addressed in physical therapy or chiropractor or massage simply because they're either going to have you only work your painful side, which we just learned is not a good idea, huh? Digging on those things that are painful and irritated. Working both sides evenly because we have to keep everything even. The problem with that is if we're out of balance to start with, working both sides is not going to bring anything together. It's either going to maintain the imbalances or oftentimes actually increase the imbalances. So number one, what I do is I empower you and teach you how to find your imbalances and fix them. And once you start getting more and more balance, your symptoms automatically decline because your body's not having to fight against itself. Your brain is not so intense because I know what happens and you know what happens when you have pain. Your central nervous system starts to tense up. You get that fight or flight pattern. You feel the stress and the anxiety. You think if I just cut my leg off, I will be fine. I've heard it all before. But if you balance out your body, guess what's going to happen? Your central nervous system is going to calm down. That stress and anxiety are going to calm down. We teach you different things to calm down that central nervous system. And when we get your body balanced and your symptoms calm down significantly, then we move to phase two. Phase two is the core strengthening and stabilization of your body. Because what happens is when you're out of balance, your muscles don't function normally. When you get back into balance, guess what? Now your muscles are put in their optimal position and we want to stabilize you and hold you in a stable position. I got a story about the most incredible woman in the world who I happened to marry. She had a sciatica episode about two months after I started my first Facebook group in 
Um, I started in March of 2018. She woke up one morning in May saying it hurts from my butt to my heel. I thought she was kidding with me. So I didn't think anything of it until she stood up and started walking like a 90 year old woman. And I wanted to help her so bad. And she just said, don't touch me. Don't do anything. I am going to get rid of this. Mid afternoon comes around. She goes, okay, help me out. So within two weeks, guess what? She was walking two to three miles of her normal five to seven miles. I told her, let's start slow and steady. We balanced her out. She was fine for a while until it was time to move. And she was bending over in the kitchen, lifting a box. And I heard, a, oh, guess what? We started the exercises to balance her out. She felt great after a couple of weeks. Third episode, she was bending over, cutting a toenail. I heard a scream, the familiar scream. I said, hey, this time you are going to, I'm sorry, the second time I said, you are going to go through my program. So guess what? She got partway through the program. All her pain went away. She was doing great with just the balancing exercises, didn't progress into the stability exercises. So guess what happened the third time this happened to her? I said, all right, we got you out of pain by doing the balancing exercises. Now it's time to progress after the pain calms down into the stability exercises. And guess what? How many times she has flared up since she actually went through the whole program and stabilized herself. And I actually catch her doing some stability exercises now because she knows what the pain is like. And she knows if she keeps her body balanced and stable, she's not gonna flare up again. So my wife, Trudy, is a great example. She goes, Dean, just use me as an example. And at first I thought, wait a second, I'm a sciatica relief expert and you had sciatica three times. She goes, that's because I didn't listen to you. So step two, critical and important, stability once we get you balanced because we want to hold you in that stable position. Third step is once we get your stability back and your pain has been calmed because you've been balanced and now you're stable in that balanced position, we get you back to doing normal things slowly and steadily making sure that we don't aggravate things. I had worked with a professional rower from either Australia or New Zealand, and she started back rowing slowly. She did not get into her manic, big pulls, big digs, big oar movements because she knew the pain that she felt, but she started going back slowly. And when she realized she had decent endurance and then her pain started coming back, we started working on more stability and then really hard paddling for very short times and building that up. So it is possible to get back to professional rowing, even when doctors say, there's no way you're ever going to do this. I have helped people who have been told that unless you have surgery, you will never walk or drive again. And guess what they're doing now? Never having had surgery. So I know the power of balancing out the body, getting things stable, and then slowly and steadily getting back into your normal routine. If what I just taught you has made sense to you and you are thinking, I am sick and tired of being overwhelmed and not getting the answers and not getting the relief I deserve. Let's get you set up with a strategy session with myself or one of my advisors, and let's get you on the road to recovery. There's a link below in the description of this video. Please go ahead and click it. Set up a time on our calendar. Let's get you on the road to recovery. Let's get you becoming one of the thousands of people who we have set free from sciatica prison and get you on the road to recovery today. Thanks so much for listening and I look forward to working with you in the future.